Hello, welcome to Tazunomi Online Mathematics. You are welcome. I am still Gapo Fred. Now we are moving on the second episode of trigonometry. Now, in the first video, we talk about the concept of trig. Now, we're going to take some questions and start solving. There's a question in here whereby we are asked to find the, the side mark y in the diagrams. All right, before we start with this, let's talk about the special angles. The special angles we have in trigonometry. We know we have the special angles are zero degrees. And 90 degrees. We want to find these special angles with respect to the ratios that is sine, cos, and tan. Now, normally there, there is a chart which we memorize saying that if I find sine 60 is half, sine this is this. But we can still use our hand in order to find these special angles without a struggle. Now, my palm, I am going to have the palm is having an imaginary square root, empty square root. So this is an empty square root over 2. Simply put, I can say x and the x will stand in for the counting of my fingers. So if I count one finger, it means the x becomes what? 1. Alright. Then if we take this, starting from here, I think if I say this, this is my little finger, that is a 0. 0, 30, 45, 60, then the thumb is what? 90 degrees. Under sign, if I take 0, which means this is the angle 0, sign 0, I'll be counting the fingers below the, the index finger, this middle, uh, small finger, the fingers below. And you can see there is no other finger here, which means in this space is going to be zero. The square root of zero is zero. Zero over two is what? Zero. So sine zero is zero. Then sine 30, meaning this is 30. How many fingers are below 30? One. So square root of one is one. One over two. So half is sine 30. Then 45. How many fingers below? Two fingers. So in this place will be two. So root two over two. Sixty. Out here. So taking sixty, how many fingers below? Three. So in our we have root three over two. Let's move to ninety. This will be ninety. How many fingers below? We have four fingers. So I'll be putting four here. Don't forget the square root of four is 2. 2 over 2, 1. So, sine 90 is 1. Alright. Then let's move to cos. If I'm taking the cos, it's still the same fingers, the same designation to be 0, 30, 45, 60, 90. But this time, if I stand on the angle, I'll be counting the fingers above. So, standing on 0, I'll be counting the fingers above and I think I can get four fingers. So in this place four which is two over two one plus zero one thirty above how many three so three in here give me root three over two forty five how many above this is forty five so there are two fingers so if I put two here I have root two over 2. 60. So how many fingers above? 1. So 1 in this place, 1 over 2. I believe you are also doing it right. Just you can use the right or left. If you are left handed, then it means you are using your hand right to count. Alright. Then the last one is 90. So 90 will stand here. The fingers above will be 0. So I think we have zero. Can we see a pattern? Right? If we check from zero, half, root two on two, root three on two, one. Zero, zero, half, half, root two on two, 
retour en tout, then retrait en tout, retrait en tout. So you can see that there is an opposite pattern here. If I take cos 0, cos 0 is the same as what? Well, sin 90. You see? 1, 90. Cos 90 is the same as what? Well, sin 0. So you can check that. Alright. Now if you take tan, tan have an expression of sine over cos. Sine over cos is tan. So in actual sense, if this diagram is going to be there, finding this will be if I take this, let's for example, let's take this. If I am taking this, it's going to be 1 over 2 divided by root 2 root 3 over 2. And if I change this to multiplication, 1 over 2 times the reciprocal of this, 2 on root 3. You can see the 2 will cancel. So I am only making use of the numerator and the numerator. Do you see that? I only pick numerator, numerator, leave the denominator. So in this case, tan 0 is going to be 0 divided by 1, and that will be 0. If I take this, it will be 1 out of 4, root 3, or better still, 30. Since it's sine over cos, we are taking before and above. Before and above. How many fingers? Root 1 over root 3. Root 1 over root 3. If I take it 45, 45, root 2 over root 2. Root 2 over root 2, that is 1. Or root 2 over root 2, which is 1. If you take 60 below root 3, above 1, root 1, root 3, 1. So you have root 3. Then this is going to be 1 divided by 0. You know that becomes undefined. So we don't have uh, tan 90. That will give you undefined. So these are some of the uh, special angles and the triangles. So we can use the fingers or our palm to generate the answers to that. Let's come to our Substantial question. The angle is 30. It's opposite to this place. We have the hypotenuse. So in my mind, I'll be singing this song. So, ka, tua. In this place, I have opposite. I have hypotenuse. No adjacent. So, adjacent, adjacent. Do you see that? No adjacent. I don't need adjacent. Or I am not interested in adjacent. So any of the ratio having adjacent, I cross them out. This is the only ratio I need. Which stands for sine of the angle, which is 30, is equals to the opposite, which is y over hypotenuse, which is what? 5. Do you see that? Very simple. Look at the side involved in the question. Look through your soca tour. Cross out the ones that are not needed. Then take the one that is needed. So from here, we can see that we can cross multiply. So we can have y multiplying 1 equals to 5 sine 30. Somebody here will say, why would it be sine 30 times 5? Uh, it is this, we are multiplying since we say multiplication is what commutative. I can do that, but if you multiply it that way, you are going to increase the angle from 30 to uh, 150. 30 to 150, you have increased the angle. So we use the any number we are using to multiply sine, cos, tan goes behind. Yeah, you are still not convinced, right? Let's check now. We know that sine 30 is 1 over 2 1 over 2 so I can instead of crossing multiply I can say this to be 1 over 2 equals to 1 over what y over 5 are you claiming that one so if I cross multiply it will be 2 y equals to 5 are you seeing that now we can divide this 
y equals to 5 on 2. So that is the actual way it's supposed to go. So if I increase this with 150, then my story is different. But here I can still say that 5 times, what is the value of sine 30? This is 30, so 1 over 2. And half of 5 is what? 2.5. 5 divided by 2, 2.5. Do you see that? I'm sure you are clear with that. Good. So always use any number or a factor, whether a variable, to multiply before the angle of sine or cos or tangent. Alright. We are not having any dimension, so if it were to be meter, then you have gotten 2.5 for meter. Alright, let's take the second one. If you look at this carefully, 52 degrees is opposite or facing the 16. So that if you are opposite. We don't have the side facing the right angle box is empty. We don't need it. But we have the adjacent, the line perpendicular to the opposite. So in this, if I have my so katua in my mind, I'm going to cross out anything that have hypotenuse. I don't need anything for hypotenuse. So hypotenuse, I take it away. Hypotenuse, I take it away. I am left with what? Tua. Which means tan theta, which is 52 degrees, is equals to the ratio opposite side, 16, over adjacent side y. Clear with that? We are having adjacent opposite. So it is two that can work. Opposite adjacent. Opposite hypotenuse. I don't have it. Adjacent hypotenuse. I don't have it. So I cross them out. So I'm left with this. So you can see cross multiplication can happen here. 16 will multiply this. Y will multiply this. And I'll still divide by this. So y is just going to be 16 over tan 52 degrees. Then 16, you find tan 52. Let do the calculator. So if you punch tan 52, just press the tan on the calculator, then press 52. That will give you. 1.280 1.2997 so if you approximate 1.280 now 16 divided by this will also give us 12.5 so if we were to have a dimension to be meter this could have been meter so you can see how easy it is to solve questions on trigonometry this is just a direct aspect of trick Let's take a question into a step further. We will see that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Share Tazuno Me Online Mathematics on YouTube. Then set Tazo on TikTok. Facebook, Tazuno Me Online Mathematics. Let's share so that I can have the numbers, so that I can do videos with longer length. So far, YouTube does not allow me to send videos of 15 minutes. So I need your numbers so that I can do a longer videos. Thank you very much for watching.